Right now, police officers are trying to find the person who shot and killed a man after an argument at this Bojangles in South End. This is just the second murder in 24 hours in our city. Good evening, I'm Genevieve Curtis. And I'm Damani Lewis. We first broke this story at 6 o'clock and since then, reporter Aaron Edwards learned the victim of and learned about the victim and a group of customers got into some sort of fight just before the shooting. And she joins us live now with the very latest in this. Aaron. Yeah, Devani, police say the victim was a regular at this Bojangles. Now they're searching for the people responsible for shooting and killing him right outside the front door. This is beginning to be a every week, every other day occurrence, and it's getting out of hand. Another fight in the city of Charlotte turned deadly. Police say the victim, a regular at this Bojangles, got into an argument with a group of guys inside the restaurant. That spilled outside to the parking lot where that man was shot and killed. Now, police are searching for the car they say the suspect drove off in. We are looking for a newer model, white Nissan Rogue, uh, that the group that the suspect was with left in. Police say the suspect took off heading towards I-77. Every single day, I can't remember the last time I haven't heard si sirens and haven't turned on the news and there'd be a homicide or, you know, some kind of violent crime taking place in the city. The public needs to understand that we're not happy with any number of homicides. Tonight's homicide, the 88th in Charlotte and second in 24 hours. It's just sad to see something like this so strikes so close to home. Isaac Watrous is also a regular at this Bojangles. He lives just down the street. I do fear for my children and the younger youth uh, in these neighborhoods. I mean, it's it's beginning to get really scary out here. He says the violence in Charlotte this year is out of hand. It's coming to a point where something has to be done about this. You know, it's it, it's not only for our kids sake, for my sake, for your sake, for anybody's sake. I mean, if you're outdoors, I mean, it's just sometimes it's not even safe to be outdoors anymore. Police have not yet identified the victim. Again, they are looking for a white, newer model Nissan Rogue. Anyone with information is asked to call police. Genevieve and Damani. All right, Aaron, hopefully they are able to find that vehicle. Now, as we mentioned, this is the second homicide in just 24 hours.